Yes, welcome again, good people. It's been time since we talked together. And I come now right back and we shall continue with our videos, our daily videos on all information pertaining the DV lottery because we want you to succeed in this process. That is all that this channel is all about. What do I have for you today? It is now seven days to the DV lottery results. Exactly seven days. That is one week away. In just about a week, the results will be out and all of you who applied or played the lotto will be busy checking for the results. So how have you planned? What are your plans as you're waiting for these results? I know much has been spoken. I myself have talked a lot and a lot regarding the DV lottery and how to wait upon the results. But let me come back to what I know I have covered in multiple videos, but still remains great concerns. And many people still make mistakes or err in these areas. And this is about your status. You're waiting for the results, yes. And after the results, if you are successful, you are selected. The next process, of course, is dealing with the DS-260 form. This immigrant visa application form that is done online. And since that is the step that follows, I've talked about how to prepare for that. First of all, I hope and I hope you as the principal applicant, you already have your passport to allow you fill the DS-260 form as early as possible. I hope you've already gotten that. Now, let's come back to this. The other thing that definitely is important is to know how to fill this DS-260 form. And I'm doing a series of video showing you how to fill this form. And therein, I'm explaining into details how you're supposed to go about this. But one of the aspects, even before you start filling the DS-260 form, is about your status. What status did you select during your application? What was your status? Were you single? That is the first status. Were you single with kids? Were you married? Were you married without the marriage certificate? So what did you select? Did you choose single? Did you choose married to a spouse that is a United States citizen? Did you choose you are married, but the spouse is not a United States citizen? Did you select you are divorced or separated? Did you select that you have kids? So those are the status that I want to clarify, especially for those who don't have this information. If you entered the DV lottery program as a single person, what are the facts or the truth or what are you supposed to do if you entered a single? And the other part, what would be my advice to you? Those two things. What are the facts and the truth? And on the other side, what is my advice to you? If you entered a single with no kid, that is the simplest of all scenarios. If you entered without a kid, that means you don't have a kid. You're still single and without a kid. That is the simplest of the process. It means you just have one person to bother you, and that is yourself. You just get your, the documents that regards you alone, and that is the simplest process. So you continue as single, even when filling the DS-260 form, you just are required to have your own details. You don't have much bother. No one to bother you with their details. So that is the simplest of that. So what would be my advice? 
Remember, if you applied single, life continues as normal. That is to mean if you want to get married, you can. And if you want to get a baby, you can. But my advice would be, if you are single and you get selected, don't bother yourself with getting married. That would be my advice. That is not what is supposed to be, but my advice would, that, would be that. And that is because continuing as single is the simplest process. Nothing will bother you. If you decide to get married, of which is correct, it's just right, then you have to add the spouse and you have to go through many steps to show the proof of your existence relationship you have to go through the process of obtaining the marriage certificate you go to, you, you will have to go through all those processes so you just end up complicating your process so if you entered as single the best thing to do is continue as single and then after you obtain your visa then you can plan on getting married and continue the process that would be an easier way but if you want to get married just go on but prepare yourself to go through all those processes that I've discussed some of them. The second status, you applied as single with kids. That is to mean you selected single and you had kids and you chose you have kids and you listed them. So when it comes to filling the DS-260 form, you have to include all of them. And saying that, I hope if you have kids, you included all of them without leaving out anyone. That's what you're supposed to have done. So continue with them. Even if you don't want to immigrate with them, you have to include all of them in the DS-260 form. Put their details, but you select not immigrating with them. So even if you are not immigrating with them, you include their details, but select not immigrating with them. But you have to include them. The other status is married. There are two scenarios. Maybe when you are entering the lottery, you are married, but without the marriage certificate. That is, you are traditionally married and you don't have the marriage certificate and you selected married. That was the correct thing. Now, when it comes to filling the DS-260 form, you don't require to have the marriage certificate. At that point, you don't need to have. What you're supposed to do, you just fill the DS-260 form. After you are through with it, then organize on getting the marriage certificate. The other way is you were married with the marriage certificate and you selected married, then proceed and fill the DS-260 form. That is number two. And if you selected divorced and you don't have the papers, you must get the papers. And I know that would be a hard process because you don't know the duration of that process. You don't know how long it will take. But if you applied as divorced, you selected divorced, the option is you must fight to get the divorce papers you will have to you cannot pass through the process without the papers if you selected divorced same case apply to the separation papers the separated status will require the separation documents so you'll have to obtain that and having said that these issues that surrounds your status should not be a bother because some people ask I am single and with a kid, but when entering the DV lottery, I didn't include the kid. And the concern is, should you add the kid on the DS-260 form? And the definite answer is no. Since you selected single and with no kid, if you include the kid in the DS-260 form, that is a definite failure. That is a definite visa refusal. You cannot get away with this. If you had a kid, but you did not put the kid in the application, 
then that is considered as a fraud and that is a visa denial. I don't want to advise otherwise, but if at all you can go on with the process without them noticing that you have a kid, then you can get your visa. But that is a rare scenario because they will do a background check on you. So if you can escape without them realizing, it's well for you. But you must, in whichever DV lottery program that you enter, you must enter all the kids that you have, whether single or married. So don't add the kid that you did not add during your entry. That is wrong. And I hope now all these status will not bring confusion to you. You've clearly understood that. So as you're waiting for the results, plan yourself well. Get all the required document for the DS-260 form and those are the passports. And then later on, prepare all the documents that you need. If you had changed your names or the names differ from one document to the other, you are supposed to get the necessary documents to prove that you are the same person. That is the baseline. You must get the affidavit of names. And that is later on, not during the DS-260 form. For the DS-260 form, you just need the passport and that's it. You fill it, submit it, and then all the rest of the documents, get them afterwards, but before the interview. I hope, guys, the information comes to you on the right time. I wish you success. May you be selected. Let's meet in the next video.